This is an amazing 10 year story about taking a molecule and making a medicine. And today, we're going to take that journey in a matter of minutes. So for millennia, mankind has been interested in using constituents of the cannabis plant for indeed therapeutic purposes. So in 1996, researchers at the University of Reading started to look at the individual compounds contained within cannabis and their benefits for human physiology. This four-year exploration led to some early exciting evidence in 2000 that suggested that some of the test compounds could indeed alter brain activity. And this set up the idea that we could possibly generate a new anti-epileptic medicine. And this excitement was then taken forward in 2007 with the development of an industrial collaboration between the University of Reading and two leading pharmaceutical companies, GW and Asukut Pharmaceuticals, and so began the race to manufacture a new anti-epileptic medicine. This work was then taken forward in 2010, where we began to look at animal models of epilepsy. And here the researchers were looking at the ability of two particular compounds, called cannabinoids, to suppress seizures, that well-known hallmark of epilepsy. And indeed it was these studies that provided the evidence to then progress to clinical trials. And so in 2013, clinical trials started to look at children with hard to treat epilepsy and monitor their seizures following them taking the drug. This took time and willing volunteers, but eventually provided robust human evidence that the drug could be effective in a selected population of children living with epilepsy. Once this data was collated alongside the continuing preclinical studies, it was submitted to the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and the European Medicines Agency for consideration. And indeed, in 2018-19, both were approved for use in treating rare types of epilepsy that begin in childhood and can indeed continue into adulthood. So that's the complete journey from lab to clinic. It took 10 years, but we've covered that in a matter of minutes. And hopefully it gives you an insight into the different stages that are required for you to progress a molecule into a medicine.